The horse with no names. Name is Supper. Sue Wallace with the United Horsemen's Front joining us along with Wayne Pacelli, President and CEO of the Humane Society of the United States. Sue, Wayne, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Thank you. Sue, are you with me? Thank you. Oh, all right, very good. And let me start with Sue. Ladies first. Uh, listen, the slaughterhouses here in the United States for horses are gone. Uh, I, I, I think there's little doubt of them coming back. Why, why are you fighting so hard to, to bring them back, Sue? What's the point? Well, what we have is a situation in this country where we have uh, a lot of horses. We have more than 10 million horses. Those are domestic horses, not counting uh, wild horses or, or feral horses or tribal horses on mm-hmm. Indian lands. And because there is not a responsible, uh, ethical uh, way to, um, to use these horses, for these horses to have value, what is happening is that they are being abandoned and neglected and um, far too many horses are suffering. So for many of us, especially those of us who come from an agricultural background, um, who uh, we understand okay. that a instantaneous death in a processing plant is a far, far better fate than being starved to death okay. or... or, or All right eaten by predators. I got you. All right, Wayne, uh, just uh, quickly here, uh, you, you guys don't want us to eat any meat at all. Actually, you guys don't want us to eat uh, uh, anything. Uh, no, that's not true. That has all. eyes or ears or, or anything like that, right? So you would no. be against this no matter what. No, 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 that's not true at all. The Humane Society is a very broad-minded organization. 95% of our members are are. You know, do you do you course. eat meat? Are you okay uh, with me eating meat then? Well, I'm okay as as an organization. Yes, we want people to think about their food choices. But cows, so you're okay with me eating some horse meat if I want no, to? No, cows and pigs were are raised for food, and if if they're well treated, that's an acceptable option. But okay. horses are not raised for food; they're opportunistically gathered up by these killer buyers and then shipped hundreds or more than a thousand miles to slaughter plants in Canada and Mexico. And the only reason it's happening is because Sue Wallace and the other people involved in the horse slaughter industry and their allies, you know, want essentially to make money from from these horses. All and right, Wayne, uh, if, uh, just hold that thought if you would, because uh, in just a second I want to ask you, what's wrong with making money from slaughtering horses? Back to the information and conversation with Matt. This is your Houston Morning News. KTRH News Time is 623. Sue Wallace, United Horsemen's Front, and Wayne Pacelli, President of the Humane Society of the United States, joining us here. And Wayne, uh, listen, we used to sell meat uh, slaughtered in America to Europe uh, and to other Asian countries. Uh, now horses are maybe transferred to Canada and other countries that still slaughter them. What's wrong with making a buck? What's wrong if we have all of these horses that are going to die of illness and starvation and sickness being slaughtered and sold for their meat? I mean, it's the American way. Capitalism is alive and good in this country. Well, we have standards of conduct when it comes to the care of animals, and people who obtain horses should care for them properly and not sell them off to a killer buyer who's going to transport them a thousand miles in a cattle truck where the horse can't even stand up and have the horse terrorized. So that would and be it, that would be my argument for having a slaughterhouse here in America that is operated under the uh, you know the United States Department of Agriculture. They could come in, they could take a look at it, make sure things are done the right way. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't done the right way. We investigated. We had undercover investigators at the two plants in Texas and the one in Illinois, and found inhumane treatment of the horses. The fact is, horses are not raised for food in the United States. They're opportunistically gathered up by a predatory industry. Horses are flight animals. They get very frightened in these slaughterhouses, more so than animals traditionally used for for meat production. And you know, Americans just don't want their horses going to some high-end consumer in France or Belgium or Japan. We want our All right, well, let's, I, I, I can't speak for all Americans, Wayne, and I don't think that you can either. Sue, uh, I can inter- well, inter- hang on, Wayne. Let me, let, me get, let me get to Sue. I don't think either one of us can speak for Americans. Sue, are there people that are willing to buy this horse meat in the United States? I mean, does it taste good? I need, a, I, I need to know that if I sit down with a nice big horse meat burger, I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. Um, There are, and there are quite a few. Uh, If you look at the worldwide market for horse meat, uh, it is quite substantial. 
China is the largest consumer uh, of horse meat, followed closely by Mexico. Uh, you can find horse meat in both Canada and Mexico. I have had uh, several delightful meals in Canada. Um, right here in this country, there are a number. Um, I live in Wyoming, and in, in this part of the world, there is a history of using horses for meat that is uh, uh, long uh, and and still very much alive. So there, I, was a, I, there, I, is a ranch, there was a ranch here that operated up through the 1950s called the CBC Ranch that ran 60,000 head of horses between Laramie, Wyoming, and the Canadian border. So those days, were used those days are gone, Sue. Right, guys, I, I thank you so much. I'm, I'm out of time, but I want to thank you both for your time, Sue Wallace and uh, Wayne Paselli.